three things you should avoid putting in your wallet or your bag your purse anything called back so avoid them it attracts poverty it makes you not being favored you know all those things are the things that attract negative vibe so stick to this video so that you will know the three things that you shouldn't put in your pocket bag or wallet so that you can always be progressing being be the best version of yourself so be blessed as you do i welcome you all with the most powerful name of jesus if today is your first time seeing me you are most welcome to this channel success avenue this channel is for spiritual well-being tips so if you do like spiritual tips you are on the right channel on this channel we always guide you give you the spiritual tips which you always need to apply to be the best version of yourself so be blessed as you two in may our good luck always be with you and grant you your heart desire so be blessed so all what we do care here we care about your health we care about your safety and the spiritual tips which you always need to apply to always mix up your targets so be blessed as you do in everything god is the best okay the best way to always meet god is by your daily prayer always pray meditate call upon god have god in your mind believe in him there's nothing he will not do for you he's capable to do everything for you all you need here is your belief so if you haven't subscribed to my channel so kindly please subscribe share this video if it had a minute to your life share it give it a thumbs up share it to your loved one click on the show so that you it's fine each time i publish a new video so be blessed be blessed as you watch so in today's video the three things that you need to avoid or not putting in your bag number one is number one is idol anything called idol you should avoid putting them because god mostly hates anything that, that seems to be idol whether big or small matter how it might it might be so avoid them all these acts of a stuff that's that seems like idol no matter how small it is so avoid putting them in your bag avoid putting them even in your key holder okay they are attract negative vibe negative um things that they add no meanings to you right that they always bring um negative things in your life things that always makes you not to feel better then things that always make you always think like if god still exists what is happening to me so if you are here um or always being disappointed always people always disappoint you people don't like you people don't, don't like associating with you so just check on if you are always guilty of this idea of a thing putting in your bag or having it in your key holder so remove them and pray and god will always see you through okay so number three thing that you should avoid putting in your bag is stuff some people after they are done making use of video put it in their bag so avoid anything stuff it doesn't give god any glory stuff doesn't give any god any glory it doesn't give god any glory be as simple as god has created you always pray always apply to spiritual genuine spiritual tips and with your belief and your faith god will always see you through immediately so avoid everything called anything called stuff avoid putting it in your back avoid it doesn't give god any glory god doesn't like it so number three thing that you should avoid is dead animals so always be always be um, vigilant in your living room, in your house. Whenever you realize that anything called animal is dead in your environment, make sure you you pack them out, you throw them out far distance from your house, then you pray because it attracts negative vibe. It attracts poverty. It makes thing that you do always not to be active. You understand? So always um, get rid of it. Any any dead animals in your environment, in your house, no matter how small it is, whatever it might be. So 
for the fact is dead remove them in your house immediately they add no meaning to you right that they always bring negative things to you they always bring attract poverty attract pains attract sickness attract so many things okay so uh, be blessed as you do i have seen a family a family just that the a cat died a cat a cat a cat died in the start maybe they so much like the car i don't know for them they went and uh, they left the cat so long left her so long so after leaving the cat so long i let her on the the children three of of his children fall are sick so they didn't know what, where the the sickness is coming from they have pro applied so many drugs but that it seems nothing is working so later right on they they went and buried the um cat in that in that same compound things are not well going on so they went out uh, a consult a, a priest a seer so the seer was like telling them the reason of this sickness is the cats that died in the house they could have take that cat far away and bury it or throw it you understand so all these things has um, their own infecting you understand after they realized where the problem is coming from they went and dig the grave and remove the cat there and now go and throw it far distance from the house his children began feeling good feeling normal you understand the sickness left them away they start moving well so these are the things i'm just giving this thing as an example you understand so anything dead stuff in your house make sure you remove the matter how small it is whatever it might be you understand for the fact is animal remove it in your house make sure you plug them and throw them far distance then you pray and ask god for his maintenance in your life for, for things to start moving as normal as it normally is to move you understand so be blessed as you do this these three things are very very important number one is I do anything called I do remove it. Don't, don't don't you ever put it in your bag. It attracts poverty. Number two is stuff. Don't you ever put it in your bag. It attracts poverty. Number three is dead animal or dead insect. So get rid of all those things. Remove them in your environment, in your house, for you to always be the best version of yourself. Stay as simple as God has created you. Okay? God is he saying something in your life. Is he saying something in your business? Is he saying something in your marital life? In everything you do, God is he saying something. Believe in him. Trust in him. Never lose your hope in God. Okay? He has everything in abundance. So as you apply to it, stay blessed. I pray that our Lord will always grant you your heart desire and always make you to be the best passion of yourself so be blessed as you do i'm done for today's video so kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel click on the show bell so that you'll be notified each time i publish a new video if this video adds a meaning to your life please like it share to your loved ones give this video a thumbs up also comment whatever that is in your mind or things that you are going to comment on the comment section i can still give you solution to that problem i can see we can still share our knowledge to that which you have commented on this comment section so stay blessed as you do see you all in my next video bye